Let's just show these guys something real quick. Okay, I got a middle blocker and I've got a left front blocker. Face them, please. All right, and so there's, there's two blocking concepts. First of all, in terms of this left front blocker, we, you know, we heard it yesterday that we want to get in the path of the attacker. One of the cues that we use, we get a lot of basketball kids, right? One of the cues that we use is I want them to take a charge, just like basketball. Take a charge. Get in front of me. Man, I convert you from outside to DS and you forget everything, okay? So I want her to just kind of take a charge, get in front of me. We always talk about our blockers one-on-one -on -one taking a charge. All right? So outsides obviously set the block. Middles are supposed to close. Ideally, we get them hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder, and everything looks really nice. We all know this happens about one out of a million times. So what are we going to do? We have two blocking concepts that we use. First, split. Sometimes we have to choose, do I want Tori to close a split like this, or do I want her to leave the split? We decide based on the attacker. If the attacker is a lethal attacker, and she's going to score, we're going to just take away that split. And we're going to take our chances playing around a malformed block. If we don't think that the attacker can really overpower us, we'll leave the split and we'll put one person. Come on, Marie. Marie is digging in the split. Go ahead and back up. And you're just digging in the split. All right. Now, what happens when that offense is so fast, the middle gets fooled? All right. She's not going to get there. We talk about leaving an alley instead of a split. We call it an alley. And what an alley is, now it's going to be a bigger space, but at least it allows the two people to fill into the alley, and we now have two diggers in the hole. So what you'll see is when we were doing that elastic work, they automatically, when a big split was left, you saw two people in the alley. So we talk about leaving splits, we talk about leaving alleys. I think even this person getting here at least gives our defense a chance to get an idea where the ball is going to be funneled to versus not being able to get there and not even putting our hands up. Okay, does everybody understand that? The concept of the split in the alley? All right, good.